Hey guys, what is up? It's Andrew Matthew here again with another video. Mobility seems to come with a hefty premium in gaming. It's why gaming laptops cost so much. I know the prospect of being able to play wherever you go is tempting. However, there is a viable gaming laptop competitor and that is the mini ITX form factor. The main con of a gaming laptop is the higher cost at a reduced performance. For example, a GTX 970M for laptops and a standard GTX GTX 970 will not perform equally. The M version of a GPU will usually have a significant reduction in performance. In fact, a 970M would probably perform slightly lower than a regular 960. Not only that, upgradability will be an issue in the future, especially since most laptop GPUs are not replaceable. There are some laptops that have desktop grade hardware, but have you seen them? They cost a fortune. My last PC build was an ITX setup. Even now I'm on a micro ATX form factor. If you don't know what an ITX is, an ITX is the smallest form factor motherboard you can buy. And having smaller boards means getting smaller desktop cases. The main benefit of an ITX is you can save a lot on cost and sacrifice almost none of the performance. You might have some hardware limitations like supporting up to only 16 gigs of maximum RAM or being limited to certain GPU and cooler sizes, but the performance threshold is still way above what a laptop with similar specs can do. I chose ITX mainly because I didn't want to sacrifice performance, but I still needed the mobility. When I was doing my degree, I had to travel a long way home for semester breaks, first by train, then followed by a bus to the airport, and finally by plane. Yeah, with this setup, I wouldn't be playing games on the road Road, but it's much more convenient to play games I have on my phone anyway rather than having to pull out a laptop which is still way too big considering the circumstances. Now with that said, I realize there are legitimate reasons why a gamer would need a laptop. If you prioritize mobility above all, then a gaming laptop will definitely be more useful to you. I imagine an eSport player would need one because of how they're always moving around for competitions and practice sessions. Also LAN parties are much more convenient with laptops than anything else? Yes, people still do that. With all things said, remember, laptops are also useful beyond their capacity for gaming. You have the flexibility to game or do your work wherever you want. If you're unwilling to trade off absolute mobility for performance, get a gaming laptop. Alright guys, so I've come to the end of my video. Please know that I'm not hating on gaming laptops. I might be coming from a certain viewpoint that we don't share. That's okay. But if you disagree, feel free to tell me in the comments below. If you liked the video, consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.